Hello everybody. Uh, this is your yearly early Pixel 8 Pro video. By now, anybody watching this probably knows what they're looking at. This is outside the AT&T store in Lynchburg, Virginia. Stop by if you like, 120 Simons Run. Get you set up. Uh, this is the Pixel 8 Pro, ultra wide right now. Uh, this is the standard, and we got 2X, 5X, Ooh, did you see that transition? That was really good. Uh, it was much, much slower on the six and the seven going from, you know, their uh, digital to the actual lens. And then we've got up to 20 right here. We got the standard stabilization. Um, keep in mind that no app updates have happened on this phone yet. Uh, so this may, this is probably pre-release software, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm walking actually pretty, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be stable here and that looks really, really nice. Um, this is, I believe, shooting in HDR. Uh, I'm gonna shoot without HDR as well. Really good, uh, you know, really great shot of the sun there. It's not blowing it out at all. Um, just to compare, but uh, colors are looking good. A little bit oversaturated, at least on this screen. The screen's not actually getting dim at all. And obviously, I mean, the sun's coming from that direction. So that's uh, usually, you know, on the 6 Pro, it'd be probably getting kind of dim by now since the cooling was so bad, but uh, looks really good so far. Uh, speech enhancement obviously is turned on as well. 60 frames per, or uh, sorry, 30 frames per second, 4K. So uh, let's let's test the front, the front camera. Hello everybody. Uh, this is your yearly early Pixel 8 Pro video. Obviously it wasn't the Pixel 8 last year, it's whatever. Nice zoom on the front, wish Apple could do that, right? This is the Pixel 8 Pro. This is what it sounds like. Just like the back camera, this is the front camera. Um, you got your 1X and your 1.4X zoom, and then it goes all the way up to, to 4X. Um, looks really good to me. Um, the screen's staying nice and bright, even in this direct sunlight up here. It's 4.30 p.m., like I said before. Um, it looks really good. Let me know how it sounds. Um, just like the back camera, this is 4K, 30 frames per second, with speech enhancement turned on. Uh, no HDR10 right now, I'll do that in a second. But, uh, I mean, this is a pretty loud area. We got, you know, obviously we got a big parking lot. We got trucks all going on up here. We're right next to an airport. Uh, this is facing the sun right now, obviously. Let me know uh, how it looks. Are you impressed? Are you not impressed? Um, for a $1,000 phone, uh, I mean, this is the equivalent to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, soon to be S24 Ultra. Both of those, assuming Samsung doesn't raise their prices, they're playing. Let me know if you can uh, hear the plane or if you're if it's drowning me out. Uh, both of those are twelve hundred dollar phones. This is a thousand dollar phone. Um, obviously, you got all the pixely stuff, the Google stuff. You guys know about that. But uh, let me know how this looks. Let me know how it sounds. I'll take some photos as well. Yeah, guys, come on and get the new iPhone. That's 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 actually some really good focusing right there. Look at that. That's. That's almost like my Sony camera. That's really nice. So I'm just gonna take a second and shoot this in non-HDR. HDR10 was enabled last time. I just wanna compare, and uh, every editing software doesn't actually offer HDR10 support yet, RIP. Thanks so much, Adobe Premiere. What am I paying for? But uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, just shooting regular 4K, 30 frames per second, speech enhancement turned on. Obviously we got a lot of traffic going on. It's a busy day today. Um, super sunny, pretty aggressive lighting situation here, as you can see in my shadow. Um, but let me know how this compares to the HDR10. Do you notice a difference? I actually think probably, if I had to guess right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prefer this, just because these look, these like bushes look more dim. As you can see, the colors are a little bit less saturated, but it looks more real. Um, not to mention the file size is a lot smaller and it's a lot more accessible and easy to edit. So. Uh, let me know how this looks. So this part's a little bit different. Uh, I decided to try something new. This is the Pixel 8 Pro. We are in pretty much direct sunlight right now. It is 4.30 p.m. So we're kind of getting into the, you know, evening golden hour. But this is the Pixel 8 Pro. The R10 was an 8 last time. I just want to compare and I want to see what it looks like in the sun so you guys can kind of get a good good idea. It's not actually flickering in real life. That's just the frame rate of the camera. But I also want you to see what it sounds like. And uh, every editing software doesn't actually offer 
It's very loud. Support yet? RIP. Thanks so much, Adobe Premiere. What am I paying for? But uh, it's very loud and very clear. Um, very stable as well. It's a good, heavy sound. So uh, I like that. last thing I want to do is, I know this is all kind of in the same spot, it's a good time to do it because there's a plane going overhead, let me know how the speech enhancement does as far as editing it out. You actually got a really cool uh, lens flare here because the sun's, you know, so so bright in the distance, but it's not obnoxious, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a Christopher Nolan film, so uh, super cool. This is HDR10 from the front camera as opposed to the last clip that was not HDR10, it was just regular 4K, 30 frames per second speech enhancement turned on. So uh, let me know how it sounds, let me know how it looks. Like I said, lots of traffic, lots of planes going overhead. Um, so it's gonna be a really good test, I think, compared to bugs, uh, compared to uh, a lot of the other devices out there. Next, we're gonna compare it to this. All right, so the next thing I wanna do with the Pixel 8 Pro is compare with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, sorry, I don't have a 15 yet, I'm not that rich, um, video. You're gonna put it in the same, you know, harsh lighting, uh, same, you know, Christopher Nolan thing. And then I want to see how the iPhone handles audio and video compared to the uh, Pixel 8 Pro. Obviously, you guys know I prefer the Pixel at this point. Uh, that's, you know, I'm a Pixel guy, I'm a Google, Google guy. Um, I have an iPhone for work, which is nice, but uh, I obviously prefer Pixel. So uh, let me know how this is looking. Let me know how it's sounding. Uh, bonus to the Pixel, uh, not just this year actually, but in general, you can zoom on the selfie camera on a Pixel. You cannot do that on an iPhone, which is why I'm not moving it back and forth right now and it looks really still. So uh, let me know how it looks. Let me know how it sounds. We'll see.